Figure this out. What are, what are the, th the things that you know you need to work on and develop? Have you identified that? My fielding. My fielding? Like my um, assignments. Okay. That'll work. So I want, want you to grab um, three balls um, and bring them out here, right here. We'll just do it right in this area. Just three. Three pills, three pelotas. All right, set them up in a triangle. Just right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So this is a triangle drill. What I want you to do is work on your approach. You don't need a glove right now. So really when it comes to your fielding, you have to have an approach. First off, it's the pre-pitch routine. So a lot of times what we saw yesterday in the game is we saw this. This is kind of how you were getting ready. And so what that further told me was that one, you're on, sitting on the back of your heels. So a ball that's hit to, you're gonna have a lot of late reactionary time to get there because first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna raise up. Because you have to raise up to get back into an athletic position to then try to navigate left to right. So now we're talking about having a pre-pitch routine. Really all it is is taking a step and a hop. Step, hop. So as that pitcher becomes getting into his windup, and now they get ready to release, as soon as they come here, I'm ready. Hop, ball's gonna enter the zone, now I have the ability to go left, I have the ability to go right at any point. So think about that pre-pitch routine concept and just try it right now, just stand, right foot, hop. Yeah, you don't wanna hop back there, you wanna hop and just, because now you're back on your heels. You wanna be nice and easy. So now you're sitting on the balls of your feet, but you want your feet to be a little more athletic. So you want to be able to go. You can go a little wider, whatever you're comfortable with, you have to then do so. So try that. Yeah, remember it's not, not in your heels. Be quiet. Can you, hear my, can you hear my feet? All you can hear is maybe this gum in my pocket. That's about it. There it is, just like that. Yeah, get on the balls of your feet. Yeah. And you don't have to even jump. It can just be one, two. It can just be a one, two. It's like, here I go, I'm ready, ready, pure pitch. Think about it that way. Yeah. It, you can go, it can go left foot can lead, left foot, hop, jump, hop, right foot, jump, hop. Whatever's gonna be more comfortable for you. So I want you to go on my, go on my routine. Here I am as a pitcher, you're gonna follow my lead. There you go. Try it again. Yep. All right, so that's the first phase of it, is pre-pitch routine. Now, you were thinking about approach. I think you missed the practice when we talk about focus on your approach. That's the, that's the concept, focus on approach. So I can only control what I can control, and that's controlling actually how you approach the game. And it starts with the initial pre-pitch. Now, as I feel the ball, I'm not just gonna run up on a ball and field it just with my feet flat and I'm just gonna feel it bending over. It's really coming into it with an approach with a right left field. So you have the balls here. So these balls are now how I wanna feel. Now feet are about ball width apart, glove is out in front of the triangle. So now you're creating a triangle itself within your body. Well, you got your knees, the glove, your shoulders with the glove, it's out in front of you. So what you wanna do now is right left field. Just back up, right, left, field. Notice how I'm feeling the ball out in front of my body. Typically what you've been probably taught and accustomed to is feeling it back here, which, let me ask you this question. You ever seen anybody win a fight against a ball? Right. So think about that. Can I fight a ball or do I want to attack it myself? Do I want to let the ball beat me up or do I want to attack the ball and get it out in front? So that's the concept. So I want you to just get your glove, and just really get yourself in a position set up right next to the balls, two feet to the balls. And then get it out there in front. Just stay there, I want you to stay there. Stay there and just reach that glove out in front of you. Sitting down, sitting down, yep. Now chest out, again. You still wanna be able to see it. Open that glove up, flex that wrist. Yeah, I want that glove out there by that ball. Cause that's where you're gonna feel it. Yeah, there you go. Now keep trying, just walking back and forth, right, left, field, back up. 
right left field. There you go, just mirror me. There you go. That's how you want it. Good, good, good. Now flex that wrist because you want the eye. Here's the eye. So think about an eye, like you can see this, the eye has to see the ball. So you want to make sure that that pocket has visibility to that ball. Good. Good. Now let's do some engineering here. I guess it's, it's physics, science, I don't know what it is. Where do you see, what's the difference between an airplane and a helicopter? How it lands. A uh, helicopter like lands on those. Uh, How's it land? Yeah, just tell me. On those, the, uh, I, for, I don't know. What, a landing pad? Yeah. Yeah, there's a landing pad, but how does it land? It like itself? lands straight. Straight down. What is the airplane? How's the airplane land? It has to slow down, and then it has to. It comes at an angle, right? So when we field, we want to field actually as an airplane, because what happens when we do the helicopter, this is what we see. A helicopter goes straight down, now our body, our glove goes straight down. But a helicopter allows us to really get there right, left, and get out in front. Then we come back. There we go. Out in front. Notice how my arm is just landing like a heli airplane, not dropping down like a helicopter, because what it does is it forces you to fill the ball under your body, which then doesn't give you the flexibility, because if that ball jumps up or you're limited in your ability to move, because you have to continue to be athletic. So be it by, by going this position and position yourself in the right left field and you're in this triangle moment or triangle uh, position, you now have the ability to move. I can adjust. The other thing that's the next layer to it is how do I fill the ball on my glove eye side? Meaning the glove eye side. So I want to keep the ball positioned to the left side of my body. Because with customary, you'll see a guy fit to the right side and you'll see that ball pop up because momentum's carrying them to the left. So they try to feel it and they go, and you see that ball go way up in the air and all of a sudden, man, I messed up. What happened? So you want to think glove eye side. So now position yourself in a way that you look at the glove eye side. Right, left field, glove eye side. Yep, not left, right field, right, left field. So even if you got a shovel, shuffle right, left. Ah, you gotta get your show you. Where's your triangle base? Where's your base at? Solidify your base, right, left, right, left, yes. Don't be so sloppy. Yeah, yeah. Fine tune that, fine tune it. Here we go, right, left. Oh boy, good work. A couple more and we're gonna get started. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, so keep that in mind when we're doing our drills, especially in our infield, individual breakouts. You gotta consider that right, left. All right, yeah, let's take a minute. I'm gonna roll this to you, now I want you to come approach it. Field it just like we were working on. Yep. So what comes after right, left field? So right, left, I feel, what's next? So it's a rhythm. So if we, if we had this pattern, we go right, left, what comes next? Right, left. Right, left, throw. So right, left field, right, left, throw. Right, left field, right, left, throw. So just go ahead and get in your right, left, throw position and freeze. Ah. Create momentum though, momentum gotta be created because now I feel and I'm going toward the bag. Whether I'm at second base or at shortstop, I gotta create momentum to get enough oomph on the throw. Especially a long, you know, smaller guy like you, you're gonna develop, but as of right now, it's a longer throw for you just because of your body size. Right, left, right, left. All right, now we wanna work on funnel. So what I, what I kind of overskipped, I skipped was the funnel piece of it. Right, left field, funnel, right to the belly. So now I, now I get it, now I'm going. Field, so field, funnel, and then position. Here we go. Remember, get that glove down in the dirt. Glove in the dirt. There you go. We'll work on that. 